Member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. We have a large public, uh, package of public land in my constituency, half owned by the provincial government, half owned by the federal government. The Jericho lands have been host to a military base, a community centre, a school, and countless dogs, walkers, and frisbee players for many years. So earlier this year, when my Vancouver Point Grey community office learned that both the federal and provincial portions of the property were up for sale and development, we needed to act quickly to let the community know what was happening. To do so, we only had to knock on the door of our friends at the West Point Grey Residents Association. Chaired by Phyllis Tires and run by a 12-person volunteer-based board of directors, the West Point Grey Residents Association was formed in 2012 after an amalgamation with the Northwest Point Grey Homeowners Association, which had been in existence for 57 years. When we called to see if they could help us organize an, an event, it turned out that the Residents Association was already or busy organizing a meeting to discuss these critical developments and to ask for community consultation and input on any proposed developments. Seemingly overnight, this dynamic community group brought together over 400 neighbours in the gymnasium of the Point Grey Academy to talk about the future of the Jericho lands. Thanks to their initiative, what started as an event with just one speaker ended up as a panel of diverse speakers, including me, their MLA, as well as the Candle Lands Company developing the federal half of the lands, a provincial government representative, and for the first time, a presentation from First Nations leaders from the Musqueam, tsleil and Squamish people. Whether it's promoting the Point Grey Fiesta, sharing neighbourhood news, or coordinating all candidates' meetings for municipal, provincial, and federal elections, the work of Chair Phyllis Tyers and the entirely volunteer West Point Grey Residents Association ensures neighbours are informed, that they have all the information needed to make decisions, and that their interests are protected and promoted. Thank you to Phyllis and all of the members of the West Point Grey Residents Association for your work on behalf of our community. Thank you, Speaker.